For example, when you're going to do something like this, if you put this onto the surface of this of the bench, okay, you don't take off the plate and leave it out like this. Because now what you've done is you're inviting things from the atmosphere to float down and to land on here and cause problems. You don't breathe on it. <coughs> okay? You don't cough on it. We'll see what well, let's incubate that and see what happens. Maybe some I'll give it a good cough now. <coughs> We'll see what comes up on that plate. Should have my mask on, see if it makes any difference. Ooh, that's an idea. Okay. When you take a sample, you label it. You always put down the type of media, Tryptosoy auger. You put down the date. Today is uh, 8, I think 12, 20. You put down who's doing it so you can recognize your plate later. So I'm DRS. And then you um, um, put down what it is. I mean, this is, is cough minus mask. Okay, there you go. So I'll label this one same way. TSA. Uh, uh, eight, twelve, twenty, um, DRS, but I will say cough, no mask, or plus mask. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put my mask on here. Entertain yourselves for a moment. Okay, well, my mask is on, and it's a beautiful mask, by the way. And I'll do the same thing. I'll cough into this but with a fair amount of force. <coughs> <coughs> we'll see what happens. We'll incubate this. That'll be a fun experiment. All right, now getting back to the at hand here. We're going to I'll show you how to streak a plate. You need a way to sterilize that loop. And in order to do that, you're going to use methane. You're going to use a flame. Okay, you're going to use gas. So. You make sure this students always, I guess they're chemistry students, you can't fault them. Um, they always turn this key that way. Leave this thing vertical. It's supposed to be a pilot light. They work kind of, sometimes they don't. I just prefer to leave it open, it starts, it's, it's wonderful. You just watch it, there's a flame up there. It's like having a car that breaks by itself. You know, you should be driving, you should break the dang car by yourself. Um, anyway, this little collar should be kind of halfway open maybe because you can see there's a lot of air in there maybe you can see that you can see my little finger at the other side um, so wide open there's gonna be too much oxygen so it's gonna be hard to light make it maybe halfway about turn on your gas you take your start lighter you make sure you make a spark can you make a spark? Try that. Make sure you can make a spark. Can't make a spark, don't even try. And then you go ahead and pull it and light it. And there it goes. Fired right up. No problems. Okay? Now, we're going to take our loop and we're going to sterilize it. Okay? Now, when you sterilize a loop, you don't necessarily... Oh, let's open this up so they got a nice loud flame. Did you hear how that changed? I opened that little sleeve up. Now there's more air. Real hot blue flame going through there. Now, most people start by doing this, and you want to sterilize this until you got a nice red, a nice red uh, loop. You can see it maybe in the flame being bright, bright, bright red, bright orange. Problem is you've neglected the rest of this. Okay? So what I do is I hold this like so, so vertically. And that way I can see, I sterilize that all at once. It sterilizes very quickly, you can see it. Now it's ready to roll. The other thing students will do, or not students, anybody, if they don't know, they'll do this. They're coming from the top side. That works, absolutely, but boy, I can feel the flame. So I prefer to come from the bottom, okay? It's entirely up to you what you want to do and your tolerance to pain, okay? Now this thing is very hot. Um, if you take your plate and you open the lid and you take this, Maybe you heard that. Um, 
That's very hot. So you can't stick this directly into your organism quite yet. We're going to put on some Micrococcus luteus. He's in this little jar. He's in this little thing. Shake it up a little bit. Should be a bright yellow colony um, when it comes up. So I'm going to get this thing nice and sterile. Open my little Micrococcus. Let it cool for a couple seconds. Don't blow on it. Okay, that's going to make it non-sterile. Maybe touch the edge of the liquid a little bit. You hear it sizzle. And then you go ahead, and there's a lot of little guys in there. You just need a loop full. You don't even need that. Now, the streak of plate, you're going to open the lid carefully, go to one quadrant, and go back and forth, streaking it back and forth. Close the lid, flame this. Now you're going to turn. I turn the lid, the, the plate, a few degrees. And I can see where I've already streaked it on the auger plate. Cool the loop. Go in, and this time, drag across and lift. Drag and lift. Drag and lift. Drag and lift. Okay? Four times, maybe. Nuke it again. Turn the plate some more. Open the lid. Cool the loop. See where you've been. Drag, lift. Drag, lift. Drag, lift. Drag, lift. It's like the tango. Um, and I do this about four times. And all you're doing is diluting the original inoculum on the plate and spreading the bacteria out. Each time, of course, I'm sterilizing this. Now this thing is nice and clean. You could eat off of it. That's good. Um, so now, um, all you do is label this, of course, um, and we'll incubate it. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, um, inoculate all of these the same way on different plates, and we'll let them incubate, and we'll see what we come up with. One thing to note is that auger is, um, and that's why it's a bummer that some of you can't come into lab. You don't know what the feel of auger is. It's like hard jello, but it is delicate. I mean, if you're not careful, I'll cool this off, you can dig into the auger if you're not careful. Okay? And you'll have to, you know, you have to take my word for it, but you have to sort of get a feel for it and, be, and, and, and get used to it. So now that's sterilized. I'll label this. It's uh, M luteus. Okay. It's a genus and species, so you should underline it or write in italics. I can't do that. Um, today is again the 12th, I think. I'm DRS, and this is TSA auger. Okay. We're going to incubate all of these, in this case, at 37 degrees. Well, if I can find a 37 degree incubator, we'll incubate, it. We'll incubate this guy at 37 degrees. Okay. Notice I'm also writing on the bottom, not writing on the lid. That's because what happens is these will fall, they'll, 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 you'll lose the lids, and if all your information is on the lid, you'll never know what's going on. So always label on the bottom.